Hey guys, Krusty Cole back here, post-Thanksgiving game against those Houston Texans, and man, what happened to us in that game, man, we look like complete and other father, hopefully we can come back and look a little bit better this week, it's uh, going to be our first game with, uh, you know, Coach Patricia being let go, and then our GM being let go as well, Quentin Quinn, um, I mean, I think this was how things were looking, we knew this was going to be a make or break season for that bunch there, and you know, things just really didn't pan out over the stretch of the um, two years, and what is this, like two years and a quarter that they had to really get things done in Detroit, and it just didn't pan out, so um, probably talk about that a little bit later, especially going into the offseason, we'll see how things go, I mean, we got Bevel in as an interim head coach, and we'll see how he does, but there's definitely going to be a lot of changes this offseason as far as coaching staff and like management and a lot of the things that they might be doing scheme-wise going into next year, but we'll discuss that all that good stuff in a later video. Uh, this week, we got the Chicago Bears. Uh, going into Chicago to go play them in, in fact because uh, we they played us in Detroit week one we know how that game ended with uh, Trubisky making that uh fourth quarter comeback to uh, get that victory against us and had that drop by pass by Swift that could have got us the game winner there but uh the new week um new game and good old NFC North uh, showdown here and uh so uh Mitch Trubisky's back uh, he had his first game back against the Packers I mean he did turn the ball over a lot but he typically does pretty well against the Lions it's definitely one of the teams I would probably say he ranks uh, among their of his teams that he does really well against. And um, this is his first game back, and you know for what it was. I mean, even though he had all the turnovers, I think he uh, showed some promise. I mean, they were able to move the football a lot more than when they had uh, Foles in the lineup. He still got that uh, athleticism, and he can still make plays. It's just the consistency that you have to question when it comes to Mitch Trubisky. But in this game, I think that the big thing you got to look at. We definitely don't want the Bears to be uh, running the ball too much. I mean. We've been giving up a lot of plays, though, like not just from the, um, <laughs> from the standpoint of people running the football on us, but in the secondary, and we got some guys that are going on IR, so I think this is just going to be one of those. We're just, it's going to have to be one of those uh, ships that's going to be very leaky, and maybe we can, you know, contain, maybe not uh, let people get touchdowns when they get down to the red zone, but I think it's just going to be rough sledding the rest of the way. I mean, I, I expect there's going to be some guys they might sit out, you know, see what they have, you know, going forward for the future, so... We'll see how things play out. I know Galladay's still on the injury report. I'm not sure if he'll be back this week. Uh, we should have Swift back at least. Have that uh, three-way headed monster with our running backs. And, uh, you know, Swift, AP, and also on Johnson. Uh, like I said, I think we, we're pretty solid at running back. Guys can do different things. We've got some guys who can catch, some guys who can run in between the tackles, and a little bit of both. Um, so from that standpoint, I believe that Amendola will be back as well. So that will definitely help in the pass game, get some more consistency there. He's really a great threat for us on a third down and converting those third downs. And offensively, I think, like I said, the game plan should be trying to run the ball. You don't want to try and sit back there, especially against these pass rushers that Chicago has. Uh, they'll eat us up all day if we have to sit back there and pass. we got to be able to try and establish the run in some form or fashion. That will help in this game if we're going to try and pull a victory here on the road. And we haven't beat these Bears in a while. It's been a lot. It's been a while. I don't. I don't even believe we've beaten the Bears uh, since uh, Patricia's came in town. I don't think we've beaten them since the uh, Caldwell days. So that'd have been back in what 217. Yeah, his last season. So yeah, it's been a while since we've beaten these uh, Chicago Bears. Uh, well, and then uh, from a defensive standpoint, like I said, we want to try and keep Mitch uh, in the pocket. We don't want him rolling out. We got to be able to try and. Uh, Green Blitz, you know, get you st stop the running back as we get to the quarterback. It's always a good formula for success, and you know, hopefully our uh, DBs can play tight on the back end. If you know, if uh, Mitch uh, does buy some time, which I expect he will be able to do on some plays, he's not exactly the he's not like uh, one of those guys who's like stoic in the pocket. He can definitely move around and make some plays, not only throwing but running as well. So that's definitely something else to look out for. As for who I see winning this game, how the with all things considered, I mean. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what the Lions are going to be doing this week, you know, with Coach B, uh, Patricia being gone. Maybe they'll play with uh, some more energy and whatnot, but the team as a whole, I mean, the defense, I just, I, I don't particularly trust them right now, and the offense is just a little bit too inconsistent. I mean, you can look on the Bears side of things. Offensively, they are definitely inconsistent, and they have been a liability, but the Bears defensively are consistent, and they're usually doing pretty well. I mean, they, they had rough sledding a little bit last week, but I mean, that was against Aaron Rodgers and the Packers, and there's not many defenses that can, you know, hold them for very long, so I expect the Bears defense to actually look pretty well this week, and you know, I've got to take the Bears, especially being at home, and I just did the matchup right now. I really feel the Bears have our number, and just looking at how both teams are playing right now, like the Lions on both sides of the ball, it's kind of a bag of uh, marshmallows mixed in with some, you know, uh, well, what's a M&M's or 
what, 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 I, I forgot which candy I was thinking of, but it's like one of those, you know, mixed bag of tricks. You don't know what you're getting. It's like one of those mixed bags, you know, like chips. You got like the hot Cheetos in there. You got the Doritos. Man, you got your pretzels. You, you, when you dig into that bag, you don't know what you're going to pull out. That's kind of the Lions offense right now. You just don't know what you're going to get. Some weeks they look good, some weeks they're... And then other weeks they're just just downright terrible. Defense, they've just been a liability all year. But like I said with the Bears, I mean, even though they are like, their offense is a little shaky, kind of like ours, I feel like their defense is a, the consistent. It's a, the motor of the team that keeps them driving. And I think they'll be able to finally get a win because they haven't won in a couple weeks here. All of, uh, in fact, I don't think they got a win in November, all of November, so I feel this will be the week the five Bears finally get back on track. Uh, for the Lions, you know, I think the season's basically over for us. You can kind of just look at and see what you got going for maybe next year, but just how the teams look defensively, offensively, it's just it's just not our year, and yeah, I expect the Bears to win this one. Uh, Bears, Lions fans, tell me what you guys think, expecting this game, and what do you expect to happen going forward, and We'll see what happens Sunday. I'm I'm pulling for my Lions to win, but how it's looking, I, I got Chicago. All right, go Lions, and I'll see you guys next